Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Josh Fan of ShowMeFootball.com and I just worked a 12-hour shift and when I got back to my room, I was ready to go to bed. But then Eli Drinkwitz said, nope, I'm going to land a big transfer quarterback and that's exactly what he did. Guys, he finally got one. This is the one position that everyone wanted to see Mizzou add a big time transfer to. They finally did it. Mizzou has landed a commitment from former four-star quarterback Jake Garcia from the University of Miami. Garcia was a consensus four-star recruit out of the 2021 signing class. He ended up signing with the University of Miami. He was once committed to the USC Trojans before then. Spent a couple seasons at Miami, couldn't quite win the starting job, and he entered the portal this past offseason in hopes of competing for the starting job somewhere. Miami's starting quarterback from this past season was Tyler Van Dyke. He's been their starter for the past couple seasons, and he is returning to Miami next year, presumably to be the starter again. And you have to figure that Garcia wanted a fresh start elsewhere where he could compete for the starting job, somewhere where the starting quarterback isn't already decided. Kind of like Missouri. Garcia was a redshirt freshman this past season for the Hurricanes. He spent two years there, and in those two years, he completed 79 passes for 950 yards and seven touchdowns. He also threw four interceptions all coming in this past season in 2022, but he completed nearly 60% of his passes in 2022 and nearly 80% of his passes in 2021. Garcia did step in for a couple games this year for Miami starter Tyler Van Dyke, who was out for the Virginia and Duke games. And in those games, Garcia looked all right. Again, you know, he's a redshirt freshman. He was a redshirt freshman this past season, and he didn't have much experience prior to that, and he looked okay. He had some ugly interceptions, but he showed some nice arm talent, and he's definitely an intriguing addition for the Missouri quarterback room. At first glance, people will look at his stats and they'll think, oh, well, this is just a guy that failed at another school, former highly rated recruit, you know, just kind of busted at the college level. I don't see that with Jake Garcia. With Jake Garcia, I see a guy that showed some flashes, you know, was very highly touted coming out of high school, went to Miami, and they had a starter there already, even before he signed, that has just won the starting job so far. And Jake Garcia wanted to go somewhere else where he could compete for the starting job. And again, no better place than Missouri. An SEC team whose quarterback situation is kind of in limbo right now and they needed to add some competition for spring football. Now, I don't think Jake Garcia is a quarterback that's going to step in here, win the starting job, leapfrog Sam Horn, overtake Brady Cook. I don't think he's a surefire star. Yes, he's a former highly rated recruit. He's got some zip on his throws. He showed flashes at Miami, but he's not what you would call a known commodity necessarily. But this is the type of transfer quarterback that I very much wanted Mizzou to add. They needed somebody that either competed for a starting job or was a starter at another power five school. And that's exactly what Jake Garcia is. And the reason Mizzou needed that is because Obviously, Brady Cook's going to be out for spring ball with that shoulder surgery. And then you have Sam Horn. And Sam Horn, even though Mizzou fans are excited about him and we all think he could be pretty good, he's never played before. And you needed to add some sort of competition. You actually just needed to add another quarterback out of necessity because since Tyler Macon transferred this past offseason and Jack Abraham graduated, you just needed another quarterback in general because you had Sam Horn and then really nobody else that was capable. So you needed a quarterback, just point blank. You needed a quarterback. And then you also needed someone that could compete with Sam Horn and push him a little bit. I think honestly, with Brady cook being out for spring ball, that's kind of tough to come back from because spring ball is where you start to implement your offense. And that's really important this off season, especially because Mizzou hired an offensive coordinator and Kirby Moore who might run something completely different from Eli Drinkwitz. So like this is a brand new offense, even for someone like Brady Cook who played for Mizzou last year. So missing spring ball is a big deal. And you have Sam Horn and Jake Garcia. And I really think it's going to be a battle between those two guys for the starting quarterback job. 
And if I had to put money down right now, I would say Sam Horn is your starter, and I think this staff is really excited about Sam Horn. But the lack of experience was not something that Mizzou could just look past going into this next season because – when you talk about why adding a transfer quarterback makes sense from Missouri, if Sam Horn doesn't work out, you at least have somebody you think can play at this level and Jake Garcia. And in a year where head coach Eli Drinkwitz needs to start winning, you had to have a more comfortable quarterback situation than Mizzou had because I, I understand Brady Cook had the shoulder surgery. I've given my thoughts on this before. It sucks for the guy, and I'm sorry that he had to play hurt but I do think that there were elements to Brady Cook's game that weren't affected by a shoulder that clearly held him back. I think he doesn't know how to read a defense. I think he missed a lot of wide open receivers, even though he had an injured shoulder. And I know that can affect your accuracy. I still saw a huge, a wild discrepancy just in between throws for him, he would throw a dot to Dominic Love at 40 yards downfield one play and then miss a wide open five yard out that was a dink and dunk play just designed to get a first down. And that was discouraging. And Eli Drinkwitz, again, he needs to win next year. And he couldn't put his fate on Brady Cook for next year. He just couldn't. Your quarterback cannot be Brady Cook next year, and I think they realized that, and that's why Mizzou added a transfer, and that's why they have a lot of faith in Sam Horn, in my opinion. And then if Sam Horn isn't ready, well, now you have another quarterback that has experience at the P5 level, and then absolutely worst-case scenario, Brady Cook is ready to come back at some point and is hopefully improved next year. I honestly think, though, that this move kind of indicates we're heading towards the end of Brady Cook. We knew Sam Horn was highly rated, and he was right behind Brady Cook, basically breathing down his neck. And then now you add Jake Garcia. They wouldn't be adding a guy like Jake Garcia, in my opinion, if they just wanted a body at the position for spring ball and fall camp. That's what they got in Jack Leibel, the FCS transfer that they got the other day before Jake Garcia. Jake Garcia is not just a body for spring ball. This is a guy that has a legit chance to start. You don't add a guy of this stature, a guy with the recruiting profile of Jake Garcia, who has very high upside, if you didn't think that he could potentially compete for your starting quarterback job. And the nice thing about Garcia is that he's got three years of eligibility. And You'd assume with the way that college football works right now, you get one free transfer, and then if you transfer again after that, you have to sit out again, that Jake Garcia isn't going to be transferring again anytime soon or else he would have to sit out. Um, So, you know, even if he's not your starter, you got pretty good quarterback depth for the next couple of years and just another option you can go to if something were to happen. I really like this addition for so many reasons. I think there's plenty of juice to get out of this squeeze when it comes to Jake Garcia. He's a quarterback with P5 level experience. That's exactly the type of player that Mizzou needed. They needed a quarterback. A lot of people were questioning whether or not they would add one and they finally added one. So I think this is also just a little bit of a sigh of relief from Mizzou fans that this coaching staff knows what they're doing. Eli Drinkwitz is determined to improve this offense for next season. I think Kirby Moore is excited about this addition. He's got a lot of new toys to play with with this offense. You know, you got Luther Burden, Theo Wee, Stannis Jackson, Jake Garcia. Hopefully you continue to add through the portal when it comes to the offensive line, maybe even another tight end and a running back. I really think this offense is going somewhere right now. This guy was a borderline five-star recruit just a couple of years ago, and a school like Mizzou, absolutely should be taking chances on these guys 10 times out of 10 to see what they can get out of them. I mean, let's remember Baker Mayfield was a mid tier recruit that was behind Patrick Mahomes at Texas tech. Couldn't start there, transfer to Oklahoma and then want a Heisman there. I'm not saying Jake Garcia is going to be Baker Mayfield, but you never know guys. You never know what could happen. This is a former top 10 quarterback in his class I really like this addition. Mizzou fans, you finally got a quarterback. Let's rejoice. Um, I definitely want to hear from you guys, though, in the comments what you guys think of this addition. Um, Let me know. Did you agree, disagree with me on anything? Would love to have some discussion with you guys. Always love it when Mizzou fans interact with me. Let me know what you guys think of your new quarterback, Jake Garcia, 
from the University of Miami. That's all I got for this one. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe so more Mizzou fans can find this. And make sure you check out my work on showmefootball.com, and I will see you all in the next one. M-I-Z.